Grade 3 Mathematics Volume and Capacity Part 1 Okay students, let's see what are you going to learn today. So today you are going to learn about why liter is the standard measurement to measure liquid, how to measure the capacity of any given vessel using liter and to record the measurements and analyze them. So are you ready? Then let's go. First, let's do a fun activity. Children, you can do this activity with your parents. There are few things needed for this activity. First, you will need an empty 1 litre water bottle. Then, you have to take a basin, a funnel and different types of vessels. Now, these different types of vessels can be in different sizes as well. So, let's see how to do this activity. Before doing the activity, place all the necessary items on top of a table like this. First, fill the basin with water. Then, uh, place the funnel on top of the 1 litre water bottle like this. Then take your first vessel which is the jam bottle and start filling this 1 litre water bottle until it gets filled up to the top. Okay, let's start. Okay, using the jam bottle, I have to pour water five times to fill this one litre water bottle. Okay, then unfill your water bottle. Then take your second vessel which is the milkmaid tin and do the same process again. So using the milkmaid tin, I have to pour water four times to fill this one liter water bottle and fill it again. Then take your last vessel which is the small bottle and start filling the 1 litre water bottle.
using this small bottle, I have to pour water five times until this one liter water bottle get filled. Okay kids, have fun doing the activity. So students, after you are done with the activity, record all the measurements in a table like this. Why do we need a standard unit to measure liquid? Yes, we need a standard unit to measure liquids in order to maintain the uniformity of the measuring. So children, let's see how this standard measuring unit is formed. So 1000 milliliters equal 1 liter. So this liter is the standard measuring unit we use to measure liquid. So students, our topic is volume and capacity. What can you tell me about the word volume? Yes, volume is the quantity of liquid in the vessel. If you look at the picture given, you will see that each vessel has a different quantity of liquid. Some have more and some have less. So, the quantity of liquid in the vessel is called the volume. So, students, what can you tell me about this word capacity? Yes, capacity is the quantity of liquid a vessel can hold. It is quite different from the word volume. For an example, if you take a 1 litre water bottle, the maximum quantity that water bottle can hold is 1 litre. So, the capacity of that water bottle is 1 litre. So, children, you know the standard unit to measure liquid is litre. So, this is the way you write the standard symbol of litre. Let's do a small exercise. Write the following volumes using the liter symbol. An example is done for you. So the example given is 3 liters. Instead of the word liters, you can use the liter symbol. So there are 5 different volumes given. Write the volumes using the liter symbol. Okay, children, are you ready to check the answers? So, these are the answers. 2 liters, 5 liters, 10 liters, 20 liters and 100 liters. So, instead of the word liters, you have to use the liter symbol to write the volume. Did you get all the answers correct? Well done. So students, we have come to the end of the lesson. Today you learned a lot about volume and capacity and how to use liter as the standard measuring unit to measure liquid. So let's call it a day. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Until we meet again, be happy and be safe. Have a nice day.